All right, y'all. So we got some breaking news coming out of Europe over there in the, the Eastern Front uh, in Ukraine, between Ukraine, the war between Ukraine and Russia. As y'all can see in the images, we have or I say video. Ukraine has now used our long range missiles to strike targets around the Ukraine-Russian border. And per CNBC dot com it says that uh russia says ukraine so russia did confirm it was attacked and signaled that that they're ready for a nuclear response and it says per the article moscow signaled to the west that it's ready for a nuclear confrontation after ukraine was given permission to attack russian territory and appeared quickly act on the green light so basically putin signed an act in basically saying that russia is attacked by a country and that country gets help from another country that has nuclear weapons that they now can use nuclear weapons if need be. Uh, shows the act was signed uh, swiftly. And um, look, this is my thing, right? Biden and his staff didn't didn't comment about why they gave permission. I don't know if this is a, a, a tactic, but I don't understand how, why would you let them use our long range missiles? Like we, we are being dragged into a situation that honestly really isn't affecting the, the average American uh, person. But we throw ourselves into everything. And I know they might shadow ban me and, and all this for saying this. But that's why y'all got to make sure I hit the like button. But why are we engaged further into this? We about to have a new administration who has vowed to bring peace. And you want to speed it up by letting them use our long range missiles. So then what happens? What if Russia does a, a does a response and not necessarily attack American bases, but attack energy sites in, in Ukraine, uh, dams in Ukraine, all these different places in Ukraine? Then what? Because we let them use our missiles. We got what a few two more months before we switch a new administration. And I did see Donald Trump put out a statement asking for uh, peace in Ukraine. We don't want a World War Three. Nobody wins. If they launch a tactical nuclear missile at either an American base out there or Ukraine base, it's it's game on. We have intercontinental ballistic missiles. They have inter inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. My bad. I'm getting tongue tied. And they can it, when launched, they can reach America within 15 minutes. It doesn't take long at all to hit a city. You know, they can launch one out there in uh, eastern Russia somewhere in Siberia and it can hit Chicago in 15 minutes max. So we, we got to we got to figure out how to dial things back. And I get it. You know, they've been in conflict. Ukraine was part of Russia at one point. Then it wasn't. And then I know they went through the whole famine thing with Lenin and Stalin. And then they end up being uh, um, uh, Germany took them over during World War Two. Then they got retaken back over by the uh, by the russians and then they ended up getting independence around um the fall of the berlin wall we, look we get all that right but why are we trying to speed the process if anything we need to figure out how to how to have the two people come down and negotiate and then we're giving them our weapons our money to attack another country these proxy wars i don't understand it i get it as politics but why are we letting them use our long-range missiles to hit inside russia and my question is what if uh Cuba used Russia's long range missiles to hit America? What do you how do you think our response would be? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Hopefully, you know, things can calm down, but don't be surprised if the war now uh ignites into a further situation in Ukraine. Let me know what y'all think.